Hi there, I'm Lisa, this is Ted my husband, and along with Hans, Air Alsatian, and Bessie, who thinks she's a kangaroo, we are Chateau de Montmagne. March 2020, when Covid spanned the globe and the world began to lock down, we decided to turn our lives upside down and begin the adventure of a lifetime. We threw in our jobs, packed up the car and purchased this 14th century historical monument. You have arrived. Woohoo! We have arrived. <laughs> With no previous experience and just £80,000 budget and a tent as their temporary residence, we plan to transform this abandoned, unloved historical monument into a family home and thriving business. We have so many new skills to learn along the way, but we invite you to come along for the ride. So strap yourselves in and let the fun begin. Okay, so another week at Chateau de Montmagne and we've got a quick video for you today. We've been thinking about um, facilities here, things to do for people while they're staying. And um, obviously at the moment, we don't have the money to be able to have a pool. That will hopefully come next year, depending on income. But um, we've got to try and think of quick wins that uh, people could do if they're a little bit bored. So it's something me and Ted used to really enjoy doing when we was in the UK, when we lived in Frost Lodge in the middle of a woodland. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but we thought it'd be really cool to be able to offer it to our guests here if they wanted a little play. So that's what we're going to do today. But in the meantime, I'd just like to say a huge welcome to Linda, Tracy and Michael, who are our new patrons this month. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining the team. And um, hopefully we'll get a chance to speak to you on our Zoom chats um, beginning of September. See you then. But thank you very much. Anyway, on to the task at hand today. For those of you that remember, at the wedding, we decided not to cut the parkland and to make some pathways so that air procession knew which way they were going to the woodland area for the ceremony. However, it then grew so large that we wasn't able to cut it with their own boyer and tractor and had to ask the help of Hugh down the road. So today Hugh turned up and started the process of cutting the grass, which had by this stage turned to very nice hay that he would like to use for his sheep. However, I had other plans for it. Look, it's Mr. Hugh. Say hello, Mr. Hugh. <laughs> hello, Ted and his merry followers. And this, this young gentleman, who probably doesn't mind being on the video, he's a fellow called Toby. And, and at the moment, this is his right-hand man. That's his right hand man. <laughs> um, so what are you going to do today with this chef, lovely if film? If the chef will let me do it. If Le Chef will let you do it. Le Chef, he's male. Le Chef. Le Chef. Is he? <laughs> Is he? Yeah. So what are you going to do today? We're going to row the hay up, the grass up that we've mown. Yeah. Your, your field of grass. We've let it dry for a few days. Normally you can do this in three days. Yeah. In, in France, you wouldn't do it in England in three days, but here you can do it in three days. We row it up now and then I'll come back uh, shortly with the baler. We'll and you'll probably, you, you, you might get one bale out of it, the big bales that you use. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, little bales would be more appropriate for you, but I've got a big bale, a round baler, so we've got to do that. All right. Don't show off. You've got a big, I've got a big baler. <laughs> and then, um, well, you're only going to use it for target practice, I think. That's the thing. I think we might use it for a little relaxation with the, uh, with our recurve bows, our archery that me and Lisa love to do in England. So we're going to turn the bale up. Toby will stand on it. Apple on head. Absolutely bow and arrow, fantastic. Sorted. No, he's, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't look keen. Not keen on that, Toby? No. no. <laughs> okay, mate. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so, yeah. So off you go. Oh, all right, yeah. Um, so Toby normally does it, and he'd make a better job than me, but it's a bit tight, this field, so we're going to... Yeah, so you don't want to give uh, Toby a bit of a challenge to do it? Uh, to, you know, like he's, he's up for the challenge. You know he's up for the challenge. Well, I'll, I'll find out what goes first. What's that? I mean, you know, if you smack trees with this, this look, which looks relatively delicate piece of equipment, it, is a piece it, it will, um, yeah. Well, it'll bend them up and we can't use it. So, yeah. This is the end of the hay. Um, how, how, much, how much hay normally do you do for your 
farm. It's normally it's about 500 bales. 500 bales. 500 done, bales. Yeah. So far we've done, uh, it's been a bit light, 300. Really? We've got another 200 to do yet, but it'll be a second, it's the second cut. We've got, we've got um, some good weather though, haven't we? It's yeah, really hot. Got, if, if, it's, if there's no water, it won't grow. No, of course so, not. So what you saying, this is a second, the second grow? This is, we've, we've cut all the stuff once. Yeah. And there's some fields I've set aside for a second cut. Brilliant. So um, pro, I'll run short, but I've got neighbours who I can, you know, they'll sort something out. Fantastic. Fantastic. Off you go, gentlemen. I've got woodwork <laughs> to do. So this is the final stage of the process, four processes, um, and this bloody great thing is a baler. He's all right, it's fine. As long as you don't hit my broyer, you'll be all right. So this is what makes the bales. This is quite interesting. I kind of want to have a look at this and see what happens. So uh, it's going to start off. I don't know whether I should stand behind it. Off it goes, that lifts all that stuff up and rolls it up in one of them big old bales you see. But apparently we haven't got more than a bale here because there's only about two acres I suppose really, two, two and a bit acres. But uh, it's lovely that he's doing this for us because it's not gone to waste then after all the wedding situation and, and where we cut the pathway through and uh it was a you know it was a real sort of concern to know what is going to happen to all this grass because you know if i'd have cut it with my broyer it would have literally just cut and died so but at least this makes sense this is uh you know this is the process that that gives back and uh that's what we want so i love it really it's brilliant and it's I love all this country stuff. I love all this farming stuff. You know, in the great scheme of things, it would have been nice if, you know, this is what we did. But uh, it's a beast, isn't it? Okay, so now that Hugh's finished um, his job and has left us with two beautiful hay bales, one small, one large, um, it's time for us to get our equipment together. Woohoo! Get your equipment out, baby. Yeah. So Ted's trying to find it. I've found it all. Have you found it all? Yep. I've even found an arm guard. Arm guard for me because I always end up with huge bruises on here doing this business. So I have to have arm guard. I've, I've got another one. So I found the gloves. There's some arrows. They're a bit dusty, but they're there. And I found your glove. Excellent. And your arm guard, which is amazing that we actually found everything. Um, and then we just, we've got some targets, which we bought from Decathlon in Limoges. So you've got your glove and your arm guard in there. Oh, so as you've gathered, we're going to do a bit of archery. Should be a laugh. It should be a laugh. We used to have really good fun. We used to live in this beautiful place called Foss Lodge, which was um, like a hobbit house, fifty pence piece shaped um, house in um, the middle of a woodland, and that's when we bought our archery bows, sets, wasn't yeah, it? The our bows, bows, yeah. I bought least... Ted one for his yeah. birthday, and then I bought one Lisa forever. <laughs> and uh, we used to go off into the forest and um, just uh, just shoot targets. Yeah, no shoot, no, no live, nothing, nothing live, else, nothing, just targets. no livestock or anything like that. No, it was just targets. We used to have a bit of fun though, printing out some targets of um, 
Yes. Celebrities we didn't like. Yes. I'd imagine people would be doing that with us soon. Yeah. When we're on Gogglebox. Okay, are, are we you, ready? Yeah, have we got some more arrows, some new ones that we bought just in case. They? They're in the back room with the targets are in the back room. So okay. do you want to take all this down? Yeah. There's your gloves. They're a bit mullered, your Is gloves, aren't glove? they? Yeah. Something's eating it. Um, okay, I'll take them over. If you take the quivers and the arrows, and then uh, the two bows are out there. Yours okay. is this slightly smaller. Yours is the black bear. Okay, I'll go down. I need to, there's, well, actually, there's one, there's one thing. Oh. I haven't got a knife in the room. Oh, this is what I wanted. So I want to pin the target, I think I can pin the target on the bales with these. These are what come, these, these are the stupidest things that they give you with gazebos to supposedly anchor your gazebo in the ground. <laughs> Is that really going to work? It, I might as well use a little bit of paper stuck on the floor over the tape. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> I think not. No. Okay. But they might do for sticking targets on eBay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay, you go and get the new ones. I'll go down to the. Uh, the area so as you will see very soon we're not very good at this but it's just good fun it's a good laugh and um, yeah it's something that we can do which is a quick win and costs us nothing to be able to uh, give something to our guests to play around with we're hoping to make a patent course as well but that will be take a bit longer so yeah let's go shoot some targets hoping this will work and the thing is I'm thinking having that one over there I'm being a little bit ambitious why well because the idea was that I was going to put one on here and one on that bale and yeah. then we're going to shoot like have ends I think they're a bit too far I away from each other they're a bit too far away from us for us they're about 16 I think it's about 20 meters so I think maybe we need to halve that yeah It's just a case of moving them. They're a bit of a pain to move. You know, if you can turn it around, we can roll it down the hill. But this is, I'm only thinking, if this works with this like this. That works like that. That'll work enough, enough for us to do it. Yeah, what do you reckon? <coughs> <coughs> That'd be fine. That was to give us a go, wouldn't it? Yeah. But we haven't done it for ages. I know, so I was just thinking, I hope I remember how to do it. Well, I was thinking exactly the same thing. That'd do it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah? How many feet do we have to measure out? Well, it's, well I think, let's be, not uh, be overly ambitious, we'll say 10 metres. Yeah. So that's 30 feet. Okay. So. Yes. So with Ted's practice round out the way, it was time for me to see if I could remember how to do it. Yes, come here. I really can't remember how to do it. Baby, it's the other way round. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've missed the target, but at least I had my bow round the right way. Now that's upside down. That's upside down. Oh, I've got it this hand, haven't I? Yeah, darling, because you're right. You're right-handed. Do that way. Oh, for goodness I sake! Really can't that to goodness do. sake! <laughs> it's this way round. <laughs> no, but you've no. got it in the wrong hand. <laughs> Look, 
Like that. Where's the... You got that on oh. the wrong hand, you muppet. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it, I got it. That is the thing. No, 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 no. Baby, look, stop being such a muppet. I'm not. I'm look, oh, yeah. that notches in the, between the two. I literally cannot remember. There, so pull that in. Pull that in. That's it. And then that rests yeah, on the little yeah, rest yeah, there. I've got it now. You got it now? <laughs> you sure? It Don't now. put your finger over the top of it like that. Yeah, you remember that was a bit yeah. shonky, wasn't it? Ooh, she's there. She's got the arm guard on the wrong arm. <laughs> <laughs> Did that do? <ooh. laughs> Straight over the top. I saw that. Well, I'm glad we've done one each now. Straight over the top. So you got, you got three more to do, 22 to beat. Yeah? And I haven't hit anything yet. You haven't hit the target. Well, you've hit the target, but just. Go on, girl. You were so good at it before. Oh, nice one. So finally, after remembering how to actually hold the bow and shoot the arrows, me and Ted had a tournament. I don't care. I don't care. Right, I'll have these then. Right, I'm with five of them, yeah? So five each, yeah? Five each, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Five. Yeah. 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 Whoa! Yeah, look at that. They're, they're not even going straight. Oh, let me Very try well. one of yours, you try one of mine. You try these. Yeah, if you can. I know. I know these are all right. I think they're really heavy. Just. Oh! <laughs> Bullseye! Nothing wrong with the arrows then. <laughs> Just the bloke who's shooting them. <laughs> You done? Not bad. I've got to find me other two now. Oh, just shy of a bullseye, but... Oh, oh look at oh, that. Oh, look at that. Nothing wrong with oh, arrows, then. Look it's the bloke. Look how far they went in. That they go in that far and from 10 metres and really rubbish. Do you think they go through you? What, if you hit a person? Yeah. Do you think they would? I don't know, they might. Ooh. They'd make a nasty mess. Yeah. Depends how fleshy what bit you hit them, I suppose. If we do let guests do this, we'd have to come and supervise them. Look, the flights are going off of this because they're so... Flimsy. Yeah. That's oh. good. Right, you better go and find the ones you lost, baby. Yeah, okay, darling. <laughs> or maybe sometime. Eighteen. You won it. Twenty-three. 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 Right, so two. Two. That's an eight, so. Yeah, two, ten. Ten. Nineteen. Nine, and Twenty. nine is eighteen, so twenty-eight. Oh, she's won it. Twenty-eight. Twenty, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> She's not a competitive at all. <laughs> Getting a bit more consistent. I wish I was. Look at that, it's a one. Nah. I have to get a bit serious, put me in that. It feels better. Not a great target. Hairs up, we're getting serious now. Oh, well, we can change. Can we get blue and white? Yeah. How many got five blue, blue and white? whites? I'll have the purple and green. One, two, three. Yeah, this, four, this looks like a good deal to me. Yeah. Yeah, I should be fine with that, lot. How many you got? <laughs> How many you got? No, you got, you got five. Too many. Five there. Put them down. Oh, come on. I've just realised, no, I've just realised what I was doing. What? So the first few times I was shutting that eye. Oh. And then I've been shutting that eye. And you're different, aren't you? 
shouldn't shut any eye. Why? Well, it doesn't matter, does you it? You have to shut an eye, didn't you? I don't. Oh, 42, mate. My God. That's getting good, isn't it? That is. That's all right, 42, I'll be 42. happy with that. Right, I'm going to go back to this little mic. <laughs> Can I try your arrows? No. So, I'm getting all right with them now, so look, I'm not going to pass them over to you. <laughs> I love it when they come and get a go. Oh, look at that, a couple oh. of nines. A couple of nines. A couple of nines, a couple of sixes. Three sixes and two nines. So I've got nine. 18, 18, two 18s, 36. Yeah, three 36. sixes, 36, 36. What, three sixes? Three sixes are 18, two nines yeah. are 18. So 36. I've got 12. Yep. Look at the group, grouping, beautiful group. Beautiful grouping. Beautiful group, just in the wrong place. Yeah, 12, 22, 24. Well and truly beaten. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Well, oh, look, yeah, my yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So we've got here for you. Four, Four five, nine, fifteen. Oh, that's an eight. Twenty-three. Seven, zero. Five. That was good fun, though, wasn't it? It's always good fun. Uh, really, yeah. It's funny how yeah, we've got nothing down here. Yeah. And it's all up here. So I think we need a bit of practice. A, a, a lot of practice, yeah. <laughs> but it's good fun. And this is the thing, we, we thoroughly enjoy it. And it's something that's free that people could do. It doesn't cost us anything. It doesn't cost us anything, no. You know, that's brilliant. The targets, maybe. Cool. And I'm thinking we might have to refurb some of our arrows. Yeah. But. Uh, cool, baby. Good. Well done. Well done to you, too. It's not often I admit defeat. <laughs> We would like to say a big thank you to you as subscribers and all of our patrons for sticking with us over the last couple of years. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to continue to do this project and to finish Chateau de Montmagne. So thank you, take care, and we'll see you all again next week. Goodbye.
much more Always really knew what I was looking for Someone to share my dreams Someone to 